Shocking silence. PM dodges questions on $10 million travel bill, what's he hiding? Prime Minister Dr. Keith Rowley says he will not respond to allegations from Dr. Rudal Munilal that he, Dr. Rowley, spent $400,000 of taxpayers' money on personal business when he went to collect an honorary doctorate from Howard University last year. The Prime Minister was responding to revelations from Orpush East MP Dr. Rudal Munilal that he spent $10.6 million of taxpayers' money on international travel over 36 months. When contacted for a response by Guardian Media, the Prime Minister said, I am not prepared to respond to anything Dr. Munilal has to say about taxpayers' money until he complies with the court order and puts in his defense in the EMBD matter, where millions of taxpayers' dollars are yet to be accounted for. But Dr. Munilal countered his claim, saying, I am never in contempt of any court proceedings. But if Rowley wishes to use a 10-year-old PNM case to hide behind like a fig leaf, that is his business. We will dig deeper into those trips. During the UNC's Monday night forum held at the Lengua TIA Islamia Primary School in Prince's Town, Dr. Munilal said he filed a written question in Parliament inquiring how many times the Prime Minister travelled overseas between September 20, 2020, and February 29, 2024. He also asked about the cost of each trip, including hotel accommodation, meals, ground transport for the Prime Minister and his entourage, and other related expenses. The answer was supplied last Friday in Parliament, and Dr. Munilal presented its findings to supporters, saying Dr. Rowley spent a staggering $10.6 million over that period. He said the Prime Minister's five-day journey to the United States in January 2024 cost $818,262.97. Describing the $10.6 million tab as shocking and scandalous, Dr. Munilal added, that is almost $300,000 per month in foreign travel. This is untenable. It is scandalous that a Prime Minister can spend $300,000 per month on foreign travel. He said none of those trips brought any benefit to the people of TNT. This figure, of course, does not include the travel of his companion. Mr. Stuart Young, who poses as a minister of energy, but he's more of a gopher, Munilal said. He noted that the prime minister's trip to Barbados to spend one day attending a banking meeting with Congresswoman Maxine Waters cost taxpayers $127,000. The Prime Minister went to Washington in April 2022 as well to meet what is called high-level officials of the government of the USA, which cost $382,000 for a three-day trip, over $100,000 per day, Dr. Munilal said. The crowd expressed shock at the bill, shouting, ground him. Dr. Munilal added, the Prime Minister ought to stop it. Cut it out now. I think we should clip his wings, ground him sees his frequent flyer cards to ensure that he remains on the ground and face the problems that Trinidadians and Tobagonians face daily, which are crime, insecurity, poverty, and joblessness. He said while police officers did not have toilet paper in the stations and the hospitals did not have medicine, the prime minister was traveling incessantly using taxpayers' money. PM Rowley must prioritize transparency and accountability, particularly when it comes to the utilization of TNT's taxpayers' money.